Popping blisters can be a dirty business. That's why the safest way to treat one is usually to just let it be. They may not look like it, but blisters are actually bodyguards. They protect the soft, sensitive skin underneath them against infection. Blisters on our hands and feet often form when something repeatedly rubs against the same patch of skin. This friction separates the upper epidermis layers from the lower dermis layer and generates a burning sensation in that area. The separated layers of skin leave a cavity that can then fill with liquid, forming a blister. Warm, moist skin separates more easily than dry skin, which is why it's important to keep your feet dry. If an unwelcome blister arrives, it's usually best not to break the skin. Otherwise, you open a doorway for bacteria to infect the lower, more sensitive dermis skin layer. Leave it alone, and your body will grow a brand new layer of skin underneath the blister in about five days. At that point, the new epidermis will absorb the liquid, and your blister should disappear. One exception to the no-popping rule is if you do regular activities like sports that could irritate and burst the blister. In that case, you're better off draining the liquid through a tiny incision made with a sterilized needle. But resist the urge to peel the top layer of skin, because it can still shield the lower epidermis as it heals. 